I mentioned on my Facebook page um, recently that I was going to uh, do a video on how I make my um, screw to the wall bottle openers from Romney Hyde and Dimchurch light gauge railway spikes. These things are also known as dogs because they've got quite a sort of distinctive dog like head to them, though not all of them actually um, have that distinct shape. Uh, there's one that does, but there are also ones that are sort of like this. Um, hold that a bit closer, I'm not 100% sure where it's going to be focusing, so hopefully it's going to pick it up. But in any case, I, I had got like quite a few of these a while ago and I just cherry pick out these ones to forge into the bottle openers because I prefer the head shape. Um, but before I do the little video, I thought I'd sort of talk through um, some of the tools that I have made to be able to make these. Uh, first of which being these tongs. Nothing too fancy about them. Um, these have a, a like an, uh, a right angle blade with a groove in it, so that I can. And the, I've made these so that they you know, fit these perfectly, these spikes perfectly. So I can hold that like that. Um, so I can forge down this area and um, this top piece will prevent the spike from flipping when I hit down on that end. Um, the dimples in this I do under the fly press and a partial and the tool that I use for that is partially made from um, a clip that also comes from the Romney Hyde and Dimchurch light gauge railway line. So, like the dogs, which or the spikes, these are sort of small compared to like normal railway size, and the um, clips are also relatively small. The clips are a hard type of steel that's like tougher than like normal mild steel. So hence why I've partially salvaged one of these into the tool because over the course of time, punching or squashing these dimples in, I do finally drill the holes, but squashing these dimples in to allow for the screws, um, by using, by salvaging one of these, the tool will last longer and not deform in the same way it would if I was to use just regular mild steel. Um, and the, the beer bottles here, because um, basically once these get screwed to the wall, you offer the beer bottle up like that and and push down and that will pop the lid off. Um, I have to, I go, whenever I make one of these, I test, uh, I test it, I have a um, bottle capper and I buy, you know, bottle caps and then just put a, put a fresh cap on the bottle and give it a, this is obviously not screwed to the wall at the minute, but anyway, so. So my first bit of this is to, there's a point at which it starts tapering and I put that on the corner with the dog's head face down put this at about 45 degree angle setting this this uh, like 45 degree bit I'm going to take that down a bit thinner So I'm going to neck into that same area a little bit more and then work the taper forward.
going to do one more heat on that, but basically you can probably see now that um, there's a little bit of a indentation there, but I just want this to be one gradual nice taper. And I need um, this taper, I, d I don't have an exact measurement, I just know that when I put this here, I know that the, the tip of this needs to be able to reach the center line of that hole. Um, so I've just got a smidge further to go, just tapering it all the way to the, to the end so it's a nice and smooth, gradual uh, taper. gradual taper and it's in the same plane, it's no wider, um, it hasn't splayed out. This is where I switch to now scrolling the tip of this downwards before turning it over and bringing the scroll back the other way. All shall be revealed. The first bit of this, turning it up the other way. And scrolling this round. Hopefully, let's have a check. Yeah, you can, good. I haven't made any of these in a while, but from memory, I think that's about a tight, the tightness of scroll that I want. I think, I think, I think, I think. I always err on the side of caution with these and don't overdo them because they're a bugger to undo if I've scrolled it too tight. The next thing I need to do is bring this scroll back the other way by quenching the tip of it so it doesn't deform, putting it on the anvil here hammering down here, which will cause it to bend solely at this weak point here, which is going to be the hottest area. So I'm going to quench off the, the tip of the scroll. Back to about there. I think, from memory, that is about right. Let's tuck it up a little bit more. I think that's about right. So this is where I'd now switch to doing the dimples. So whilst that's just warming up in the fire, this is the, um, the tool that I use to um, Put the dimples in and so it was the clip unbent and then welded onto this shank which goes up in to the fly press and when I pull on the arm bosh comes round
focus, I'm not sure. Those ones are a smidge off center. I might just put that through another little bump. Smidge off centre, but I'm going to just give the head of the the spike a tap that way to just kind of visually recenter things a little. I'm going to do that in the vice off screen. I didn't show the recentering of the the head because it's um, half past two on a Sunday in the middle of lockdown and. I need to go to the supermarket <laughs> and I've got time to carry on moving the camera around. So anyway, th at this point I would now drill the holes and then offer it up into, um, screw it onto a piece of wood and give uh, a bottle cap a test and adjust it if needs be. So I'm gonna to have to get in the way for two seconds. Okay, so that one needs to be tightened up a little smidge because I can move the bottle too easily. So what I do is take it off here. Take it over to the anvil. And then without heat, um, just give me a couple light blows just to close this up a smidge. So now it's a case of offering it back onto the onto the wood block and having another go, seeing if it works. So now having given it a little tighten up, it fits better. I also just did off camera something that I'd forgotten, a stage that I'd forgotten about, which was I put a small bend um, outwards so that it brings the bottle a little further away from the wall. So the bottle itself doesn't bind against the wall. So it just from within this hole, it just kicks out a smidge. So there's a bit of daylight back there. So now I'm just going to um, get it warm in the fire and put a finishing wax on, uh, which I make from a mixture of things, mixture of waxes and oils, predominantly beeswax and linseed oil, but there's some other bits and bobs in there. So, um, a little bit of finishing wax. Just to give a bit more luster and life to it. Just looking for another pair of tongs in. That. So, that's still a bit too warm for me to pick up with my hands. 
but that's basically it. I haven't yet looked into um, the postage costs of these, but I will be happy to supply them um, with black screws and rule plugs. So um, if you're fixing into masonry, I'll supply suitable size um, rule plugs to work with the black screws. I don't know if it's focusing. Yeah, come on. I did do media studies at college once upon a time, but that don't mean I can operate a phone camera whilst holding hot metal. I'm talking rubbish now. <laughs> Want to go home?